Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Kyle. I'm here with Local Motors. Um, we're working on the connected car project with IBM and uh, wiring up some Galileo boards for our uh, show that we've got coming up at the Phoenician in Vegas here soon. Um, just a little update what we got done today so far is we uh, got some bulkhead fittings wired in underneath uh, the fender well, kind of out of sight, out of mind, so nobody will ever know they're there. Uh, there's, a, there's a 120 fitting you can plug right into the wall and there's also an ethernet fitting up in here that you can't see. Um, so you go to this side you can see our, uh, our uh, trickle chargers all mounted up in the trunk. Um, we now have power to the trickle charger so we'll be able to keep the car powered uh, throughout the show no matter what. Also the ethernet cables just to uh, um, just in case we can't get really good Wi-Fi in the show we can just literally plug it into the wall and go from there. But um, so the cable the Ethernet cable runs from this side of the car, follows the roll cage up and over to the front of the car. This is where all the magic happens. Right here in this little panel, this is where the boards are mounted. Um, this is where our relays are going to be mounted. Um, and here's the Ethernet cable that was run this morning from this side of the car up and over to our uh, central location. Alright, so my next step is going to be uh, mounting the head unit up in the dash. Um, it's going to have a big touch screen right about here. So uh, my next step is going to be to pull the dash off, pull the head unit down, and then we've got a prefab head unit that slides in there and holds the, the big screen. And uh, and from there, it's just hooking up wires and sending signals. Corey here. So Kyle was talking about mounting the screen in the car, and this is the screen that we're actually going to use. And it's actually got a very nice display, touch screen. And the problem was how to mount it in the car. So this thing came with a big base, which we took off. and. We actually found a one of the radios that we use in the Rally Fighter, we had a broken one. And if you hollow out the guts, this is the frame that you're left with. And the normal back plate goes like this. And what we're doing is removing the back plate. We've got a new aluminum plate, copied the bolt pattern. That's going to go on the back here. And then we're going to use that as an attach point to mount the screen. So it's actually going to sit inside like this. And then the whole assembly can slide back into the dashboard, which is going to make it very nice and self-contained and uh, should give a really neat effect in the car. 